This is another variation of the cheap trick vaccine efficacy illusion, whereby if we exclude cases that occur within some specific time interval, like one, two or three weeks after vaccination, we're guaranteed to get high reported efficacy for a vaccine which is just a placebo. Those people vaccinated within that time interval are not considered fully vaccinated. Here we have a simulated example of a typical observational study to determine vaccine efficacy of fully vaccinated against the never vaccinated. So we observe a vaccine rollout over a 10 week period for a population of 500,000 people in which 250,000 get vaccinated and 250,000 are never vaccinated during the 10 weeks. We assume the vaccine is placebo and that the weekly infection rate for vaccinated and unvaccinated alike is 1%. We assume the vaccine rollout starts with 1,000 vaccinated in week 1, peaking at 60,000 in week 8. In week 1 we vaccinated 1,000 people, but there's nobody fully vaccinated in week 1. In week two, the only ones who are fully vaccinated are those who are vaccinated in week one. And in week three, the only ones who are fully vaccinated are those who are fully vaccinated by week two, etc. And what this means is that in week one, we've got none fully vaccinated. And so the 10 cases amongst the ever vaccinated are not counted. None of those are counted. In week two, we've got only the thousand fully vaccinated. So that's where we've got 10 cases counted, etc. So by week 10, we have 220,000 who are considered fully vaccinated, whereas there's 250,000 who are ever vaccinated. And we've got only 6,450 of the 8,950 total cases, which are classified as cases. So this is a case rate of 2.93% for the fully vaccinated. That's simply 6,450 divided by the 220,000. Of course, it's a lower number for the ever vaccinated. But for the never vaccinated, we've got 1% of the cases each week, it's 2,500. So over the 10 week period, we've got 25,000 of the 250,000 people infected, and that's a case rate of 10%. And that gives a reported vaccination efficacy rate for the fully vaccinated, which is just, of course, 1 minus this percentage divided by this percentage which is 71% for the fully vaccinated. Of course, it's a bit more for the ever vaccinated. Moving down to the week two case. In this case, nobody's considered fully vaccinated until week three. So these basically get shifted along here. We end up in this case with just 4,250 cases counted by week 10. And that's a case rate of 2.5% for the fully vaccinated, which is that number. And that gives a vaccine efficacy rate for the fully vaccinated of 75%. And moving on to the case with the three week delay, you can see we're up to 77% vaccine efficacy for the fully vaccinated. So that's how to create an illusion of high efficacy over a period of observing a vaccine rollout.